Let me make it very clear. The boxes I currently own, they've come second-handed via Alpha Investments. And you might be like, how do you know that? What if the guy was lying to you? Because the sealed cases, and a lot of them were sealed cases, I think most of the collector's edition were sealed cases, had Alpha uh, Investments addressed on them. So this was a guy who was a patron at the $100 level a month. That's a lot of money a month, guys. I can't think of any other service, uh, Disney, Hulu, Amazon Prime, you add everything together and I still don't think you get the $100 a month that you're paying via Patreon for the ability. So what does that $100 a month give you? It gives you the ability to buy more cases of that product and have, I believe, priority in line. So should you be paying $100 a month versus 10 or $20 a month, you can jump the line and say, hey, I want this product. And if it sells out, it sells out, but you got your, you got your portion of the product. I have, am gonna make videos showing exactly what the product is uh, how much money I, I paid for a buy list at the time. The buy list we used for boxes was Dave and Adams. At that point in time, which was a year ago, their buy list was sky high. People always complain, oh, you're scamming people, buy list, buy list. If, if you allow every buy list, I guarantee you one of those buy lists will be very, very close to retail. And the reason being is because all stores have different needs. And when you're talking about every store in America, uh, you're talking about a lot of stores. So Dave and Adams at that time was building up its Dave and Adams Live. They were trying to open magic cards. So they needed these boxes. So they went out and they paid way over, way, way, way over what I would think is reasonable for these boxes. I mean, we're talking about 170 for Dominaria. Uh, 170 is incredible because right now you can get a box of Dominaria on TCG Player for 180 with free shipping. That means the buy list, you know, back then a year ago is higher in terms of like what if after shipping and fees than uh, whatever you could get. So what, wherever you could sell it, even if you sold it on TCG Player at 180, you probably get back 150 after fees and shipping. Uh, the buy list was 170, and this is not a typical war. The Spark was the same way. Core 2020 was the same way. Uh, why I'm making this video is I want you guys to understand this is not a great investment. Now people will say, oh, you bought the high. And yeah, I, I give you all this. I give you all this. But so did other people. Rudy was selling during this entire time. And the boxes he was selling, Neon Dynasty, Crimson Val, Baldur's Gate, which he says is doing really well right now. I don't see it. I own a lot of those. But uh, I have those boxes, right? So I know that they go on sale on Amazon for 72 draft and 80 set. And I think like 200 or one, actually no, New Compella Collector's Edition was on sale for like 100. And I got like a bunch and I opened some on camera, right? On live stream. Yeah, the things are not, um, so if you think, oh, well, you just got the wrong boxes. I'm here to tell you there are boxes that he sold at 100 or 90 or 95 and there are 102 or something like that. And you can get them on Amazon today, today, today at 72. You know, but oh, I don't see, I don't see, uh, wait for the sale guys. It's called a blanking holiday. Like it's a holiday, you guys. <laughs> you just wait for the nearest holiday and then something will go on sale. Like this is a concept I don't understand how magic players are they the only people who don't understand how sales work? That instead of buying every single day, you wait until like there's some type of you know event, some type of holiday event, maybe Prime Day, and they throw it on sale for pennies, and then that's when you load up. Like you're not gonna load up every single day of the week, guys. Like it doesn't make any sense. You wait for something called a sale, and a sale happens when there's a holiday. So did I get burned? Yeah, I got burned. Um, in terms of how much money I lost, I, I lost a shit ton, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this concept, you know, the S&P 500 in Q1 went up, I think 10, 15%. I remember seeing it in my Fidelity portfolio. It went up a lot. Uh, you can get a CD for 5% uh, guaranteed, 5%. 
Uh, and there's so many other better investments. I would say real estate's interesting. Mortgages fell four months in a row. Might be interesting to do a B&B &B or type of mortgage, right? So I, I think that at this point in time, I'm going to heavily disagree that the card market is a bull market. People are losing their jobs left and right. And you might be like, oh, well, my local Walmart is hiring for now. Well, wait until they automate everything, according to Walmart CEO. I, I look at this landscape and cash is always king, but cash is so powerful right now. So powerful. And, you know, I I will be the first one to say I misspent my cash on seal product. It was a massive mistake. Um, it was a mistake that I made multiple times. <laughs> uh, God, I mean, like some, some of it I can live with, you know, I bought one of every box and I did like a five, $8,000 collection and it was very diverse, right? Cause it's one of every box, collected edition, this box, this box, box. It was kind of interesting, right? I think it was every, one of every box from Pharaohs to like the new set. And then I just, I kind of kept it all together in one room. And then there's the 29 boxes of War of the Sparks, the 24 boxes of Dominaria at 170. <laughs> box <laughs> then there's some stuff i look at and i say what the hell you know like like i i, I cannot i have a closet I, if you follow me on facebook i have a closet where it's just like i look at it it's a full of rudy chan boxes i'm like what the hell happened here and i too fell for the rudy chan trap where he's saying that Oh, you just buy these boxes. You just put them around. My box, they have been sitting. I'm not talking about, oh, I bought a bunch of new Campena or Crimson Vow, which I did buy, but I bought them in these sleeves based on booster packs for my distributor. Man, Magic is just, uh, I, the problem is every new set, not the problem, I think this is actually good. I mean, it's a lesson. Every new set is better than the old set. I can prove it to you. Um, what's it called? Dominaria Remastered? That's obviously better than Dominaria. Why pay $185 for a box of Dominaria when you can get Dominaria Remastered for a little bit more? It has literally all the cards that were good plus more. Uh, the same I can say about Commander Legends like why or Commander Masters. Why pay for Commander Legends at $150 a box draft? I don't know what the collector is. Probably something insane. When you can just get the new set. Get, get the Lord of the Rings set. Anyway, I'm living proof that uh, you cannot invest in boxes and make money. Now, again, I'm holding on to my boxes, right? Uh, maybe in a year, I'll update the video and see where we are. But as of a year ago, April, around the time I was buying these boxes, it has done nothing but collapse. And you guys, well, I don't believe you. Rudy said to the moon. I have screenshots, I have volume, I have the little chart on TCG, but you can look this stuff up to yourself. Like when somebody's saying these boxes are going, when Chilling Rain go to the moon for Pokemon, you can check Chilling Rain, you can check the volume, you can check, like the, the problem really is um, very simple. Number one, there's a volume problem. Great, you have 40 boxes of War of the Sparks. How the F are you going to sell them when one of them sells every week? And you got the top seller at the lowest listing. He got like 100 loaded <laughs> at that price point. And he's, he's, he will drop as soon as the new competitor comes in, he'll drop that price point. He'll go as low as you go and he'll continue to sell because he has 100 of them in stock. You have 40. So he can, I mean, again, there's this desire to move dead inventory, of course, for cash flow. I played a game, I didn't like the game, it was a very bad game, and I lost. That's the way I look at it. It's a poker game, I went all in, and the guy just, uh, I lost. I lost the hand. Um, now, if, th if this is something I can learn, and something that I can teach you, is when somebody's pumping these boxes, ask yourself, why are they selling the box if they're so certain that the box will go to the moon? Wouldn't they hold the box? Why are they so desperate to move inventory? It's because they know it's gonna be worthless. And it can be worthless in many ways. I, I use the judgment example. I love judgment. I just, when I was in middle school playing Magic Judgment, the Magic the Gathering set. It's like 100, 1100 a box. But no one has purchased one on eBay for like a year. 
and I get offered a judgment box for 700 or I remember it was a good deal. It was like a really great deal. And I'm like, eh, it's a beautiful box, but like, what am I gonna do with it? Like if I open it, as soon as I open that $1,100 box, even if I got it for 700 or 600, even 500, probably the retail value of the cards I open are less than $10. Judgment is a horrific set in terms of value. Maybe if I'm lucky, I hit like one of these rares the foil rares, I can make up some money, but that's, I mean, when, you, when your whole um, gamble is based on a like, foil rare of some type, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> okay, so that's not good. That is not a way that you're gonna get your money back, right? Hey man, I love a judgment box at, at that whatever price, but I cannot justify it. That's basically a war of the sparks. Um, I probably will open some boxes. There's, I'm kind of trapped in the fact that I have to open these boxes now. So I'm addicted to opening boxes. I will probably open all War of the Spark, all Dom now Dominaire is a little too, I bought in at 170. So it's kind of like, I'm gonna barf when I open it and get like $17 back. But something like War of the Spark, I think, what did I get it at for 110? And then you add the shipping and the fees. So probably 120-ish, everything all in. Well, I mean, that I can stomach. Um, 120 a box, I can stomach that, especially if uh, Planeswalkers, the format, I forget what the format is called. It's something where Planeswalkers and their spell. If that if that format becomes really popular and you're pu pulling a, a Planeswalker uh, booster pack, you get 30, at least 36 Planeswalkers and then you also you can get foil ones. Yeah, it might not be a bad, and you know, again, it's a fun set. Dominaria is a fun set because it's got all these legendaries, right? there's a legendary format that pops up and they need some of these Dominaria legends, maybe I open a bunch of them. But I'm stuck to it because there's no resell. If I resell it, I lose money. I tell you right now, if I resell this collection, I'm gonna lose 20% off the top. And then with fees and shipping and returns and you know scams, I mean, that's why I don't sell because I'm at, I'm at the point where for me to open the box, I can accept that. But for me to sell the box and take a loss at the box and then put myself out there in terms of being scammed, it's not worth, uh, I'd rather open the box. <sighs> but I'm definitely not gonna make money from the box if you're wondering that. Hi <laughs> guys.